Hi booktube, this is Johnny. Uh, I decided to make a video even though it's only been about six or seven hours since my last video. Uh, today is still August the 17th, 2017. It is now 7.32 at night here. Uh, I wasn't going to make a video tomorrow night because my wife goes back to work tomorrow night, but tonight she went to a play put on by her, uh, the Holland Theater group that her niece's kids are involved in. It was the play on Dracula. So she's not home. She's going to be home pretty soon. And I uh, just want to get some books down in the lower level because it's stacking up here in the living room uh, by my chair is a coffee table and it is piled high with books that from the last couple months and the new books I got for my birthday and books that I have ordered and I want to just show the thrift store books I got yesterday so I can put them down the lower level. Well yesterday I went to local thrift stores around where we live there's three or four thrift stores I had to go I had to do something. Oh, I had to go get uh, an, uh, an envelope to send a book, a used book to a booktube friend. And I also had to go to the store to get some luncheon meat. Anyway, I found that the thrift store is these used books. This is called Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that Sparked the Civil War by Tony Horowitz. He has a book I have in our library, Confederates in the Attic, which I have in our library down the lower level. But this is his book on John Brown, Midnight Rising, John Brown, The Raid That Sparked the Civil War. Uh, and then I found at another thrift store this little hardback, Keats, Shelley, and Rome, an illustrated Miscellany compiled by Neville Rogers. Uh, it's just an odd thing, but I found there was a, a little postcard in here of Keats and Shelley's Memorial House, 26th Plaza de Spada, Rome, that was in here. It's just like it has Keats on his deathbed. Uh, it had, you know, just a little thing. It only cost 25 cents. And then I found at another thrift store a biography on Jane Austen by Claire Tomain. I'm reading her biography right now, uh, Claire Tomain, on Samuel Pepys. She's written biographies on... Mary Wollstonecraft, Catherine Mansfield, Deacon, uh, Dickens, Charles Dickens' Secret Mistress, Nellie Ternan, Dora Jordan, the actress who for 20 years was companion to the future George IV. And I have her biography. I, I don't know. I have some other th biographies by her. Uh... I think I have her biography on Catherine Mansfield. Anyway, found this. Then I found this novel by, this is an Australian writer I never heard of. This is called Chain V Island by James Rancy. Uh, it says here, in 1953 on Canvey Island, a storm surge is flooding the streets. Lynn and Aunt Violet are out dancing on the mainland. He in polished shoes with a slick hair, she in a fur stole and long gloves. Back at home, Lynn's wife, Lily, and their small son, Martin, fight to stay above the rising waters, waist deep in a raging black torrent. When Lily's foot is lodged beneath debris, she begs Martin to get help. This sight of his mother, ghostly in her drenched nightdress, is his last glimpse of her alive. 
Lily's death is unbearable is an unbearable rupture in Martin's life that lets a host of unwelcome developments, not least that his father's growing closeness to his flashy and violent. When Martin goes off to Cambridge to study water engineering, he breaks all ties to Can Can Canby Island, settles down with the bohemian feminist Claire, a rebellious victor's daughter. But when Claire takes her activism too far, but taking their daughter to a peace camp rally, Martin drifts back to Can Canby Island into the arms of his teenage love. He finds himself drawn into his old world in secret and lies, in wounds and passions and sacrifices and hopes. Profoundly moving, eloquently written, Canvey Island tells the story of a changing times in post-war Britain through one's family and loss. So he must be an English writer and not an Australian. But it looked kind of interesting. And then I found this book next to Jane Austen. Jane Austen ruined my life. A novel by Beth Pathinlio. I can't pronounce that. It looks like a, a a girl kind of girl lit, but the title kind of caught my eye. Then I found this art book at a thrift store by this folk artist Bill Morrow Jackson. This is called. Uh, Bill Morrill Jackson, in Interpretations of Time and Light by Howard E. Wooden. I really got this. It only cost me $2, but I like the, the paintings in here. See how the paintings. Uh, I kind of like these, the way he paints. See, he paints these kind of desolate, kind of paintings. I really like those. And then there's, um, he did other things. He did murals, you know, things like this. So, you know, I like art books. It's, I like the cover. It's in perfect condition. He did, uh, you know, things like this. So I got that. So that's what I got. I got this Bill Morrill Jackson coffee table book. I got this Jane Austen Ruined My Life, a novel by Beth Patilino. And I got this novel Canvey Island by James Runcy. Runcy. And this biography on Jane Austen by Claire Tomain. And then I found this little odd thing, Keats and Keats, Shelley in Rome. And then I found this Midnight Rising, John Brown and the Raid that Sparked the Civil War by Tony Horowitz. So those are the things I found at thrift stores yesterday. I haven't gone to the thrift stores north of Holland. I haven't been because I know I've, I've gotten a ton of stuff in the mail, birthday books. I, uh, like as I mentioned, uh, children gave me Amazon gift cards and I bought a bunch of stuff, which I'll show in my next video. And I still have TBRs from June, July, and now August, uh, because I got start reading those Joseph Iron sermons. And then I got into that book on conversation, the declining art. And then I got into reading Frankenstein, the annotated, the new annotated Frankenstein. And so who knows? And I've been reading those, and I start reading that biography on Mary Wollstonecraft, and, and then I got that biography on the, the Romantic Outlaws, the life of Mary Wollstonecraft and Mary Shelley. So it just goes on and on. And I got books coming in the end of this month. So yeah, plus there's my writing. I have to write in my diary and. I have to dream, I have to talk to my wife. My wife will be gone next week, so I have six days by myself. Maybe I'll make a video every evening while my wife is gone and I'll talk about what I have done throughout the day 
what I've been reading. I'm always reading, I'm always writing, I'm always thinking, dreaming, sitting here in silence. I was wondering, we have the solar eclipse coming Monday, and I am hoping that it'll be a second coming of Christ, that he will come on the clouds of glory. I was thinking of that passage and Paul wrote in Thessalonians, I think it is. I think it's in 2 Thessalonians. He says, uh, I think it's 2 Thessalonians. Maybe it's, oh yeah, it's in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But of times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly, perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, it might come during the solar eclipse. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with, a, with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So that's what I'm going to be doing on the, the Monday during the solar eclipse. I'm not going to be sleeping. I will be watch and I will be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for a helmet and the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ. So I was thinking of those verses when I was thinking about the solar eclipse Monday, if that is when the Lord's coming back as a thief in the night. Uh, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the, the, day of the Lord shall, shall come as a thief, when they shall say suddenly peace and safety, then sudden destruction. So those verses come to mind when everybody's talking about the solar eclipse. I could really care less. I'm, not, I'm just going to live like I do every day, just seeking the Lord, seeking His coming and uh, have my light burning. So until next time, thank you for, uh, once again, the birthday wishes. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And until tomorrow night when I show the books I got for my birthday, bye.